Hey, what's up guys? Haggard here, and I'm going uh, ice fishing. One thing I do want to mention right now, though, is I do not recommend you go ice fishing by yourself or go out onto the lake ice by yourself. That is something that I'm doing today, and the only reason that I'm doing it is because I know that the ice is very safe uh, as far as thickness, and I know right where I'm going, and I've been there in the last week, so I know that there's not any major um, inconsistencies in that part of the ice. Look with me, guys, and uh, come along on this adventure. Thanks for tuning in. Okay, well, poke a hole right here and uh, see where we're at depth-wise. I'm thinking this is probably about, I don't know, 14 to 20 feet deep, this part of the lake. time using the drill and it's a success for sure thing works great okay so for those of you guys out there that don't know a whole lot about ice fishing amateur ice fishermen which I am definitely an amateur ice fisherman this is an ice fishing pole obviously you can see it's uh, you know short that right there that's a glow jig what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set it up with a mealworm which you can get at the local bait store or whatever. I, I didn't have any ice fishing gear before a few weeks ago. So what I do with these new poles is I just let the line out and drop the bait down. And you gotta make sure that your, your hole is clear of ice and slush because otherwise your line won't feet down so the point is, is that you're trying to find the bottom of the lake and you just keep feeding until your lure stops taking more line out you want to pull it up off the bottom of the lake just a bit hopefully you'll hear these little bells ringing when you get a bite but we're going to do the same thing with the other holes that I uh, that I drilled this one has a right there oh I need my pole holder so like I was saying before it's never really a good idea to come out here alone, come on the ice alone at all, ever. The only reason I did it today is because I didn't have a choice, and I am well over the safe range 
of thickness of ice. It's not dropping anymore. Let's see, I think I stopped too quick. Oh, uh oh, I got a fish on. He's biting, he's biting. Oh man, he wanted it. Dang it. Hopefully you can hear it in the camera so you don't think that I'm crazy or that I'm imagining things, but there was a fish biting on that for sure. And I'm gonna be watching. I'm gonna wanna be watching that line over there too because that line is lined up and it's probably gonna ring too. But that's the other thing is it's something that you wanna be paying attention to And that's why I'm putting these bells on these. That one excited me because the camera was already on, so. But if I wasn't talking, I probably would have heard them nibbling on that, and I would have probably been able to get that one. But um, I got three lines set up. They all got bells. I can set up my chair now, start jigging on one, or even jig on the fourth hole. I really hope I can get some good sound footage tonight of uh, of the ice moving and shifting and stuff when you're out here at night and the temperature's changing. The ice does this like awesome bloop, bloop, whoa, whoa, and it'll do it right underneath your, I think I stepped in, just stepped in an old hole. It'll do it right underneath your freaking feet and you can feel it. It's pretty cool. Jigging is an important thing to do if you want to increase your chances of catching fish. Now I don't have a fish finder, which that's a, another uh, perk or another thing that can really help you. But uh, jigging And I'm going to take my bells off of this one since I'm I'm sitting here watching it. But jigging is just basically trying to move the bait around to call attention to the fish. And you kind of just uh, let it sit for a little bit and then pull it up a couple times, let it down slow. kind of want to be mocking the movement of something that was that would be swimming underwater. You never want to go out with expectations of getting skunked. But I've come out here a few nights already and caught nothing. And then there's other nights where I caught a couple fish that were even, you know, pretty small. So for me, it's like I would way rather be out here than at home. Even though I love being at home, I love my family, but you know, my wife has volleyball nights and she has her own life after work on a couple nights. So this is what I go do. I've had some good loud ice shifts go down while I have the camera recording. 
So I'm really hoping that the sound is picking that up. I'm going to try to kind of like single them out in the video so even if they're faint I can turn up the, the levels and maybe you'll be able to hear. Oh, I hope you heard that. That one was right underneath me. You know, the ice is always constantly moving and changing and shifting and you really need to... It's out here making tons of noise. Now guys, I've heard the ice make noises a lot. That was a whole bunch of noise all at once. <laughs> it's okay though. I know it's safe out here. This ice is eight inches thick. They say eight inches is good to drive a four-wheeler on. So, but I'm ready to go. It's pretty much full dark right now. So, Well, thanks for joining me, guys. Um, not super eventful, but it's just beautiful out here. So I appreciate you guys uh, joining me and checking out my video. Hopefully, I'll be bringing you guys back out on the weekend. Maybe do some fishing out of a hut in a different lake that will have some perch, which is a fun fish. So um, I'll try to get a video shot where I'm out here longer and I'm more able to, you know, have a chance of uh, getting some good fish. So anyway, thanks again, guys. Haggard's out.